Hi, this is Loz Dawkins. Um, I just thought I'd like to show you my uh, knife collection. I have a YouTube channel for boxing because I absolutely love boxing, but in the spare time, I like to collect, as a hobby, I like to collect knives, knives of different sizes, shapes, steel, different steels, different handle materials. I mainly collect pocket knives. As I've always had a passion for them as a kid. So I'd like to walk you through my collection. Hope you enjoy it. Starting off, this is not in no order of how I've brought them. It's just in order how I've got them on the table. I've got the Spyderco Polestar. Sorry that I've got to do it like this. I haven't got a stabiliser for keep my phone on. Then I've got Spyderco Man X2 in CPM S 110V. Nice knife. I have a Spyderco. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Not Endura. Is how Delica Delica 4 VG10 steel. I have a Spyderco um, Injury Zone Green, a limited edition Spyderco. I think it's called Anaphis or something um, with the black blade. Then I have the Spyderco 52 100 steel, ball bearing steel. It's the sprint run. Yeah, that's the paramilitary. Love that knife. One of my favourite knives. Then I have a Spyderco uh, 100 pacer with uh, steel. Trying to get it focused. Sorry about this. It's C CTS XPH steel made in Taiwan. Taishung, Taiwan. Nice knife. I have the Spider Go. It's Co. I think it's. I forgot what it's called. I've got to bring like memory like a sieve, but it's a sprint one. Is it the squeeze? I can't remember what it's called. But it's a sprint run. That's in um, VT. Sorry about this. That Toka Steel. It's a sprint run. Paramilitary 2. That's my old go knife. Take that everywhere with me. Then I have a case trapper. Love that knife. The case, um, can't remember what it's called. Large, uh, not trapper. I can't remember something. I guess it's just I'm just can't try and remember everything. That's a limited edition. Three thousand. That was my first ever case. In smooth bone. Nice knife. Can't think what it's called. I can't think what they're, they're called off the top of my head. That's my favourite case. The canoe. Amber jig bone. Love that knife. Love that knife. Fits in the pocket. Don't even know you've got it. It's a gorgeous knife. And a case trapper. Harley Davidson. One. Smooth. Uh, orange bone. Then I have... Two Rough Riders, they're those cheap ones, nice knife, and then that one, I don't, I don't even know what they're called, Stockman, that's what that's called, Case Large Stockman, with the synthetic uh, yellow handles, like a yellowy white handle, um, and then this is like a budget line, 
run from here down. I've got Browning. Got some cheap knife that wasn't dear, about twenty-five pound. It's a Browning with rosewood. Boker. Uh, Barlow, another great knife. CRKT. Casper. Never used it. Brought it. Don't like it. Might sell that. Another C CRKT. Don't use it. Probably sell that. Can't remember what it's called. Uh, Buck. Brought this for fishing. But it's got bad uh, blade play on it. So, like I say, that might get sold as well. Don't use it. Can't think what it's called. A Kaiser knife. That never gets used. Don't like it. Can't think what it's called. It says... Uh, what's it say on it? Clacker, clacker design. Don't know what one it is. Um, what else have we got? 511. Uh, another knife. Might sell that. Don't use it. That wasn't that dear. About £50. For that Kaiser was about £130. And those two cheap, cheap shit ones. Anglo Arms. No, it's not an Anglo Arms. It's Combat Tactical. Never used it. Don't like it. Brought this thinking it was uh, original Kershaw. Turned out to be a fake from China. So don't use it. It's been in, in my safe for about two years. Um, the legendary wrap one in the D2 steel. Love that knife. Rat 2 in Oz 8. An Anglo arm slip joint. That was only cheap. About £5. But I like that knife. Use that when I go fishing. Uh, Boker. Boker Plus. Don't know what it's called. Don't like it. Don't know why I brought it. It looks fully serrated. Half serrated. Looked nice when I brought it. And when I got it, didn't like it. Another boker, can't think what it's called. Uh, like this knife, but I can't think what it's called. Uh, the Juliet, love this knife. This is this is one of my favourite slip joints. This, love this cheap knife, only about twenty pound. From Heidi, Heidi Ains, bone handle, great knife. Um, this is. Another fishing knife, OKC, whatever it's called, international. Slip, cut my hands on that a few times. <laughs> then I have, uh, this is a sprint run, um, AK47. It was limited to 1500 of them in mind. Can't get it to focus. So if we can get it under the light, no. This is limited to 1500 and it's number 331. That's in the XHP steel. Love, lovely knife. Comes in a nice box. Just a cheap shit. Uh, cheap shit knife. That's one of the first knives I ever brought that before I upped the game. Um, and over here. Got bench made, Grizzly Ridge, love this knife. It's got bad blade play, needs tightening up. But a lovely knife, love bench made. Legendary, uh, 940, Osborne, another great knife. Love playing with this, fast as an auto. Just a great, great knife. Sorry, this is all over the show. Like I say, it's my first time doing this. I need to get a proper stabiliser for put the camera on. Uh, just a cheap Anglo Arms Japanese warrior knife. That was just cheap, about £20. 
Um, love this knife. This is one of my, I think this is probably one of my first knives. Black Oak Hornet 2 in Oz 8 steel. Going small, but very aggressive looking knife. I think the US Navy SEALs use them. That's why I brought it. Uh, just another cheap Jack Pipe Pikes English knife. Used to use that actually for doing gardening, like a bit of weeding. Uh, the only Victorian ox what I've got. The Huntsman 2, love that. That's that stays. I carry that most place to work. I don't really use it, but it's always handy there for a tool. You know, because it's got the scissors on it and the screwdrivers. Um, like I say, I will review all these once I, I do it again. I will review all these knives. Uh, Mkusta and Coca Cola, Coca Coca Cola, Coca Bowl Awards. Uh, VG10 steel, love that knife. That's quite dear. And then I've got another Mkusta. Um, Damascus VG10 with Quincy wood. Another expensive knife. That was about two hundred and fifty pound. Don't really use that. Love the blue anodized, anodized thumb studs and anodized uh, pivot. Love the wood. Beautiful knife that. Don't use these knives. And then I've got another um, Mkusti. I can't think what this one's called. It's uh, Damascus uh, bolsters. VG10 steel. I can't think what the wood was called, but this was expensive. This was nearly three hundred pound, but it looked loads bigger on the website. Oh, and a Damascus clip. But when I brought it, it's only very tiny, it's like a gentleman's folder. Um, then got over here. My ZTs. I've had to put them all on one box because I can't fit them on the table. This is the uh, Hendra. You can't see it because of the light. This is the Hendra 562CF, 0562CF, titanium carbon fiber. It's on the KF, K something ball bearings. It's KFT, KTF or something. I can't remember. Nice knife, lovely. Uh, CPM. Yeah, 20 CV steel. Love that knife. That was expensive. That was about £311. And I've got uh, another ZT. Uh, spring assisted one. This is the 0770CF. With the carbon fibre handles. This is right up there as my favourite knife. Lovely knife. Light as anything. Lightning fast. Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Look at the carbon fibre on that. Beautiful. Love the, love that knife. That's my favourite ZT, even though it wasn't as expensive as that. Then I've got another Hendra ZT. This is the 0566 Hendra G10 uh, S35 VN steel. Nice, nice knife. Frame lock. What Hendra is famous for. Uh, so that's my ZT's. Got a SOG. Don't know what it is. Don't like it. Dropped it on the floor and bent the end up. And another SOG. This SOG, love this. I don't know if you can get it to focus. Sog Visionary 1. Love the knife. That's VG10 steel as well. Love that knife. Great knife. It's quite dear actually. Uh, Kershaw. I had this pinched. 
but managed to get it back but lost the box Kershaw injection to 3.5 Todd Rexford, Rexford design don't use it but I do like it then come down to the expensive knives now uh, this one is the uh, Scat and Morgan um, it's called Kentucky something um, it's far away. this was dear this was about £150 this I brought that for my birthday last year as a treat lovely knife then I've got a De Villas this was expensive I'll just have to try and open it up with one hand but I'll end up slicing my hand up so let me put this down there Sorry about that. The Villas, that's the large MP. The large one. In bone. Don't know what bone it is. But, uh, nice knife. That was really expensive. That's another £300 plus knife. I think about 330 Don't know what the bone is. It's in DT, D2 steel. And it's a uh, 2017. Then the only GT, uh, GC I've got is an 81 uh, Bull Moose in jigged uh, green bone, green jig bone, lovely knife, absolute quality knife, sorry, absolutely love that knife, great slip joint, it's the only uh, GC I've got, but I will be getting more. Uh, that's the case for it. Then my last three, the only two fixed blades I've got is uh, that's a cow bone. It's a Scottish make, but I can't think what it's called. When I brought it, it wasn't that dear, about sixty pound. Um, it began with B. It was a Scottish firm what made it. Can't, but it hasn't got the name on it. He had it on the packet, but. Obviously, I threw the packet away and I can't think what it's called. But, uh, yeah, love that knife as well. Don't use this. Just to show more than anything. Quite a big knife. Won't want to get caught walking around with that. You've got no excuse to have that on you. You go to jail, get caught with that. That was an old work knife. That's the oldest knife I've got. Fixed blade. That's about 20 years old, that knife. It's a Spanish knife. I can't remember what it's called. Um begins with M, but I know it was made in Spain. You can just make out on it the M U E L something Y because it's rubbed off. That's over 20 years old. That knife, love that. Don't use that. Used to use it for work for cutting rope, cutting BT rope, and stuff like that. And it's blunt as anything needs sharpening, but I've it's retired. That's just in the safe. And then last of all, this is my most expensive knife. This is a Boker um two county clips. Let me put it on here. This is a Boker what the hell is it? Two county clip. In bronze Damascus, um, W. Gorski is the designer. It is only, if you can get it, there is only two, 199 of these in the world. This is 141. Two candy kind of clips made by Boca with Damascus bronze. Uh, on the handle and pivot uh, the blade steel is CPM 154 154 that's the certificate to prove well, that it's legit 154 plus I've got other paperwork for it inside but yeah that's my knife collection of 2020 like I say, it's a new channel, it's first time doing this video. 
I'm going to review all these knives and next time I'll have the camera and a stabiliser so I won't be shaking all over the place and I can show you the knife close up and uh, measure it, do the weight of it, the steel type, the handle material and stuff like that but that's my knife collection from spider codes all the way through case to budget knives to expensive knives real expensive knives that's my uh, uh, knife collection of 2020 so keep an look out for more videos uh, thank you and god bless bye